guys, Moose Gaming here, and today we're gonna play some Minecraft. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a elevator, but this time it's going to be a water elevator. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so as you can see here, this is our elevator design right here. And I'm going to be showing you guys how it works. So if I tap on this pressure plate, there's some sand and it pushes me up. And there's a uh, pulse extender down there, which means that after a certain amount of time, the blocks switch back. So I don't need to press another button up here. I just can walk in and it's gonna automatically pull me down when I get out here. I can go back. And again, pause extender falls down, block switches, and <clears throat> I can go down. This design is pretty small, really, really quite nice. And he uses, as you can see, magma blocks and small sand like all of these elevators do but they also use uh, the target block so guys now i'm going to be showing you how to build this thing so i like to start with the bottom piston right here um then i'm going to place some glass here with some wool for the pulse extender right about here a comparator facing the block and the other one here we place redstone here here's gonna be our activation point like this here it's gonna activate everything a redstone here a redstone block here with a redstone torch down here i'm just gonna quickly take a different color of wool place a block of wool block with a redstone on top of it right here and over the top of this redstone torch we place a piston like that and believe it or not that's actually it for the redstone side now we can make a small platform here and we need to start filling in the glass remember guys it doesn't need to be glass this doesn't affect the the build i just like to have it in glass because it looks cool okay so that part is done with the chamber now we need to put in the small sand and the magma blocks so full sand is going to be here magma is going to be here like that now what we need to do to avoid leakage of the water that we're going to fill in just in a second we're going to need to use a sign place it right here you don't need to write anything on it uh, and now it's time for the water so we just search for a water bucket mm. like so we place it on the top and it would be really hard to place water blocks on every single block and the other thing is also when you're going to do this in survival it's gonna be it would take a lot of time uh, so we're gonna use help we're gonna walk in here and quickly fill in everything with kelp as you can see it broke and now you can see the effect is already working because we have these bubbles here so now if we walk through wait a bit it's gonna pull us up there I, the pulse extender just 
stopped so when we do the stuff on the upper floor we can quickly go down and so yeah guys that's actually it it's really quite easy and it's so useful i i would use it this design more than the design that i was showing you guys in a different video that was the normal elevator i i don't like the terracotta look it looks pretty pretty weirdly and also uh you need to buy you need to get observers pistons sticky pistons slime blocks it's really this is more cost effective so yeah i think this is going to be a lot of your bills guys ready quite soon so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe leave a like and don't forget to hit that notification bell to never miss any videos. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this and this will be quite helpful for you. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!